is dragging on and on I have come so far just to see you go Everything is overtaking me when you thought you were going to move to LA? It wasn't. It was more glamorous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these wedges are well abused. Um, there is a shaded spot and I think there's a six day here. Manscaped. <laughs> <laughs> there's more, there's a, see that green bench right behind? Oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Behind the swings? I think that'll go in a separate <laughs> gap. You just gotta wax it. Maybe we'll have a look at that after. You gotta ollie before the crack. It's so low. Adly. It's so low, like, I'm probably slapping it. <laughs> Wonder if it'll fit these. Probably. That's what I was thinking about trying. Oh, yeah. I think he's really nice. I want to go around the bed. <laughs> go around the bed. Dude, look at the Kim yeah, drawing Kim haircut. Jong -un hair, dude. Oh shit. The supreme leader right yeah, here. Man's the supreme leader. Dude, Kim Jong Un just came back to fucking spite oh. you. <laughs> I'm wearing a new shirt and I'm all sweaty, but it, it still smells like Target. So I, I, I'm like Target, just walking around. You know, the first thing I ever shoplifted as a child was a blank bond singlet. It was at the Bonds factory outlet in the skate park. I put it in the front of my pants and I walked out. What was it? Just a singlet. A like a tee? Oh, okay. Yeah. Damn, you really stole the tank top. Show him the cut, show him the cut. Supreme leader. Supreme leader. <laughs> B boy. That just ain't worth it. It ain't worth getting fucked up right now.
let's go home. I think that was it. Hey guys, what's up? I know it's been a minute. I think it's been like two or three weeks at this point. A lot of things are different. I'm going through some changes physically, as you can see. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've had my ears sewn up. That was a whole ordeal. Um, I had my hair cut today as well, so yeah. Going through some changes. But I just needed to take a break to recharge and take a step back and look at everything from a different perspective because I'm quite tunnel visioned and like when I'm in it, I'm just like, just like go, 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 go. And I'm really good at working hard the wrong ways as I've mentioned before on my channel. So I just wanted a moment to break away from everything and then kind of just do nothing. And it's been great. Like the whole, pretty much the whole two or three weeks, I was completely lazy. I've been trying to make a video now for the past few days. And every time I go to make a video, it just doesn't work out. And I feel like I'm starting to slide into a kind of slump where I'm just kind of trying to produce stuff that isn't that creative or isn't that kind of, it's not coming from the right place. I've probably tried to do like a good half a dozen videos, but none of them had worked out and I was just getting frustrated and kind of burnt on everything. So I decided to stop instead of kind of making it worse for myself. So I took that little break and it helped me kind of realign myself and just look at things differently. Like I started to become comfortable with being over here and I had to break away from that because honestly, like if I went back in time and told myself that I would be living in California, skateboarding with all these rad people and skating all these rad spots and but the weather's always perfect, it never rains. I would have like, I wouldn't even know how to react, but that's my reality right now. I am over here and I am skating with a bunch of rad people and I do have this opportunity over here that didn't exist. I have a bunch of opportunities, to be honest, over here that didn't exist for, my, for myself in Australia. Just being able to kind of shift my mindset a bit and become a bit more grateful to being over here has taken me away from that whole like, I've got to grind out videos and like, whatever video comes to head, I'll just like chuck it together and make something. I felt personally that the videos had lost creative integrity and creative process and flow, if that makes sense. I look back at my old videos when I was still in Sydney, back in Australia, and there was so much more creative flavor or like taste in those videos. Like there was music, there was this, there was that, there was B-roll. It was like, I had, I had a lot of fun editing those videos and I feel like my latest videos had just been super cut and dry. And they're, they're fine, they're good to do every now and then, but myself as a creative kind of person, I wanna be able to express myself via the videos and I wanna be able to like put a piece of myself into these videos like I'm really enjoying thinking about the videos I'm gonna make, how to make them, what scenes to put in, like what music to pick, what feel, what emotion I wanna show in the videos instead of just kind of shooting them and then just uploading them. I really hope this message gets across because it's kind of hard for me to explain how I feel sometimes, especially as a creative person. How many times have I said creative person in this, this bit? Um, but yeah, other creatives will understand what I'm talking about. You have to have that spark. There has to be that fire in your belly to be able to, you know, create and put it out there in the world. Because I, I don't want to put out stuff that's just like, eh. I feel like I have this kind of relationship with skateboarding where if I'm skating too much, I am like, it's like this, like I'm progressing, I'm progressing and like everything's in the bag. But inside i'm like oh cool we're gonna go skate again like i'm tired you know i get tired it's summer now it's really hot outside and i feel like sometimes with skateboarding for me personally it's kind of a two-sided thing like i'll be all about it wanting to go out and rip and put in the work learn new tricks and get clips and stuff and then the other side of it is where i kind of shy away like i'll kind of shy away from skating and I want to just kind of like take it easy on myself and just like stay inside. Like I said before previously on this channel, like I'm a super big introvert. Not many people know that. I mean, you guys know that, but like a lot of people don't understand that I'm a really big introvert. So I like being inside 
and like keeping to myself kind of thing. I think I've mentioned before where I've had time skateboarding and then I've had time off the board and the time off the board honestly is as important as the time on the board for myself because I feel like I have that break to kind of miss skateboarding and just miss everything about skateboarding the noises going out and skating with your mates getting tri getting clips and learning new tricks and stuff and then having the the endorphins kick in when you get home and then it's kind of like you can chill but I feel like it's kind of like, have you guys ever been with like a girlfriend or a boyfriend or a partner and you're around them too much and you're kind of like, oh yeah, whatever. And then you have that break away from them and then you start realizing things that you miss about them. It's the same way for me with skateboarding. Like I realize I'll miss like hearing my wheels like bang over the cracks on the footpath or the sidewalk as you Americans call it. Or like miss hearing my tail scrape on the board when I go to Ollie or just just different things like that about skateboarding and I'll start thinking about skateboarding in a more creative way like what tricks I want to do I'll be driving around in my car and I'll see spots and I'll think of cool stuff to do there like stuff like that that I when I'm in it in it I'm just like this and I can't I can't like expand my my mindset while I'm like this because I'm awfully tunnel vision so it's good for me to have a break still super stoked to be out here I'll wake up some mornings and forget I'm in America I'm like holy shit like I'm, I'm living in America now <laughs> I'm gonna be hitting it differently this time guys I'm not gonna be just be like trying to like work hard the wrong ways I'm gonna put in the work the right ways so yeah to everyone that supported me so far thank you so much and if you guys are new here like you just subscribed the last couple of months what's up um, there's going to be new videos on the way very shortly. So that's what I'll leave you guys with. Thank you again. And uh, I love the support. Thank you so much.